Welcome back guys, this is day 10 of Indian Pacific wheel race. We've got Ryan with his eagle there. And next up, anyone think he looks like Wigo here? That's Christoph up the, up the lead. I think he looks like Wigo, I think. I think. Um, I'm going to kick off by talking about this next guy. This is Paul Ardil, and someone put on um, Instagram or Facebook. Can we get a shout out for Paul Ardil? Paul Ardil is 74 years old and competing in the Indian Pacific wheel race. And get this, he's not even in last place. He's, um, he's doing an amazing effort. He's covered over 1400 Ks so far. There he is. Um, and this is an article that was posted by bicyclingaustralia.com.au. So the article kicks off by saying you've probably heard of Rupert Guinness, cycling maven, Durian rider and other well-known cyclists but among them, among the 70 stars or so, there is this guy um, that um, he took up cycling at the age of 65 um, after his doc doctor suggested um, he, he did it following a stroke so the guy had a stroke, 65, and the doctor said hey get on your bike, it's a great way to build up and restore lost balance which makes sense I guess and then Paul goes on to say, I was supposed to ride just around the block. But he says, but the block's been getting bigger and bigger. And this is one big old block. So embracing his newfound passion for cycling, Paul, Paul's rides became more regular as he ventured further and further afield. In 2014, he spent nine months riding around Australia. Um, his wife supporting him in their motorhome. And in, let's see, he also did, oh yeah, okay, as for something like the Indian Pacific, Paul says, he told us, I did Race to the Rock last year, that was 2,300 kilometres from Adelaide to Allura, and he did it on a cross-country bike. As for Fremantle to Sydney, race plan, Paul intends riding 14 hours per day in hopes to complete the Indian Pacific wheel race, and um, Paul says he'll be getting up at 4 a.m., every morning um, and he, he appears to be sticking to that he's, he's going good guns he's ridden the nullabar before and he knows it can be very very windy he's just praying for tailwinds as opposed to headwinds and he's, he says his motivation is um so one of my biggest motivations is my brother who is in a wheelchair he retired and stopped moving quality of life is very important you've got to keep moving and it is as simple as this if you keep moving, you'll have a better quality of life. That's what Paul believes. Um, while you can, you might as well give everything a go, he said enthusiastically. Well, what an absolute hero. Um, absolute legend he is. Okay, back to the pointy end of the race. Surprise, surprise, Christoph back in the lead. I think Michael and Sarah briefly overtook him in the night while he was having a bit of a kip. Here he goes. This is the man himself, Christoph, riding through Melbourne. 
got a bit of a bunch ride with the locals through Melbourne. But yeah, um, he's back in the lead now for sure. And just looking ahead, they're into rolling hills now. Um, but very, very soon they're going to hit the uh, hit the hills for sure. Um, so a couple of steep banks before they hit this one, which goes from something like I think 600 meters to 1,800 meters, 1,700 meters. No stop, no brakes, just um, just a sheer wall. That is a hell of a hell of a climb. How's Mike Hall going to do it? Because he only had like a... Did he have like a 30 cassette on the back? Maybe even smaller. He had a real small cassette on the back and he was pushing a 52, 36 chain ring. It, it was a big, you know, it was a big old chain ring anyway. Okay, so someone said I forgot to give Kai a shout out yesterday. So, hi Kai from Germany. Um, consider this, you shouted out. No Facebook page, so I couldn't go into more detail there, but just looking down the field, it's very, very scattered now, isn't it? Very, very scattered. You've got the guys right at the back that have only covered 1400k, and you've got the guys at the front that are just about to um, click over 4000k. Now, I guess that's the difference between your pros at the front. Okay, here's Shell, Mr. Shell Drake. Shout out to him and Leicester Forest Cycling Club. I, I took a look at his jersey and um, after a bit of a Google search found these guys. Oh yeah, it's quite a cool jersey. And they've just released their um, their club's, club socks. So I'll leave a link down before if you want to, below if you want to check them out and if you like the look of their kit, maybe they'll sell you one. Okay, we'll have a little bit of a scooch down the leaderboards. So Shell's in um, 12, he's moved from 13th to 12th. Good on him, he's, he's, he's doing a really good effort there. Uh, Frank Proud, who we were looking at his Facebook messages yesterday, weren't we? And um, he, he looked like it was in a bit of a doubt, but it's good to see that he's cracking on. There's Beth, Nick. Uh, Dark Knight, Rhino, all doing really, really well. All doing really, really good. Just click through, heading heading to Adelaide now. I think what we'll do, we'll have a look at the back of the pack now. Let's go down. We probably don't shout these guys out enough, so we'll go ahead and have a look. So this is Coops. Let's see who Coops is. Is that the Chinese flag, Hong Kong flag? When he pops up, we'll check out his profile. There he is. Rider profile. Hong Kong. Daniel Mark Cooper. We'll check out his Facebook. Hello, Daniel Cooper. Um, so about, let's see. Works at Bluecrest Capital Management. So that sounds like he, he must be a hedge fund manager or something. But he's originally from South End on Sea, so he's another Brit. Is he Brit? Is he Chinese? We don't know. It says originally from South End on Sea, so we'll count him as a Brit. But he lives in Hong Kong. Here's Sam O'Dear. What's Sam got to say? Oh no. Anyone know of any truck drivers who do Perth to Adelaide? My back has played up, so he's. Oh no. Although it's not official, his, his um, tracker is still showing up on my progress. Um, it looks like he's he's ditching. Thanks for watching. That is day 10 done. Subscribe if you like for more videos. I'll be back tomorrow uh, with a few other things. We'll see you then. Bye.